Hi, I'm Jennifer Lopez, and this is everything I did in a day on the set of Hustlers. I'm here to talk about my new movie, Hustlers, and my character, Ramona. Becoming Ramona every day. I think when I got to the set every day, you know, it was about kind of putting on the hair, the tattoos, the piercing, putting on her clothes, her kind of vibe, getting into that mindset. There was a lot that went into Ramona, putting on the tattoo of her daughter's name, which you actually never see in the movie, right here, was also a big part of it because uh, Ramona is a lover. She's a maternal character. She's a nurturing character. Sisters. 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 Only thing she loves maybe more is the money, which is what made her such an inter interesting character, is that she was a very loving, nurturing person, but at the same time, she was a savage, and she'd take you down in a minute. So that was a lot of fun to, to play. I did, do the same thing every day. Work out, take a bath, head to the set. They give me like two hours for hair and makeup. I make the hair and makeup people do it in an hour. And I know exactly what everything's gonna take. I've just been doing this a long time. And then <laughs> I just go out there. And once I start working, I'm pretty much nonstop. I don't even go back to the trailer. I just stay on the set all day long, watching everything that's happening, staying in it. And then if we have a long break with lunch, I'll go to lunch and like chill in the trailer. Just switch and wrap. I knew, uh, the whole entire shoot was kind of leading up <laughs> to me doing the pole dance, was with, which was at the end of filming. We shot this movie, I think, in 29 days, which was a miracle. And for six weeks before the movie even started, I was training for this pole dance, which is Ramona's big entrance in the film, the first time that you see her. That day, uh, I was ready. I was prepared. I knew my choreography. I knew everything. I wanted my body to be warmed up and loose. <laughs> I needed, I needed that. So I went to the gym. It takes a lot of core strength and a lot more than you would think to walk in these women's shoes and do what they do every day and every night. So I got there probably early morning, warmed up some more, camera blocked it. Me and Lorene, we, we had talked about shooting it like a stunt, so having a lot of cameras going, because I told her, I said, I'll be able to do this, but I won't be able to do it 100 times. Just my physical body, it just take, it was, it was just too hard. You know, flipping your body over and spinning around and falling down, it was just, I was like, we're gonna have a limited, I'll keep doing it until I can't anymore, but I can't <laughs> do it forever. <laughs> so we set it up like a stunt. We shot it with all the cameras facing this way and the side, and then we shot it from behind and the side, so we kind of covered it 360, high and low, overhead. So we did it many, many times, but you know, again, at one point I was like, okay, I can't do that part anymore. <laughs> do we have to do that part? She goes, no, no, we got that part, we got that part. Then at the end, I went and took a look at it to make sure that she had certain things covered or if there was something that I wanted to do better. Then I went into the trailer and put ice on my shoulder. <laughs> For me, uh, even when I'm on the set, I try to concentrate on the character. My family, Alex, and the kids know. They can call me anytime. If I'm in, literally in front of the camera, is the only time I won't take the call. And then it's the minute they yell cut, somebody tells me the kids called, Alex called, and I call them right back. That never goes away. You're a mom, no matter what. I talk to them, you know, a thousand times a day, in the morning, at night, if I'm on the set, if they're in school, just depending on where we are. If they're in town with me, you know, obviously I go into their rooms when I get home. They always tell me, make sure you come into my room, come kiss me, come check on me. And I take like pictures so they know that I came in there. I send it to them in the morning and they see it in case they're gone before I get up or I'm gone before they get up. And we, we just stay very connected that way. In between scenes, I just really try to mellow, stay in the moment because I take time to set up the shots. Sometimes you're sitting there waiting for an hour. Of all the props that the prop master bought me, there was a, a blinged out lighter that I would hold every day. Sometimes I'd smoke, you know, one of the cigarettes or something and just kind of stay in the mindset of Ramona. And it was funny, the prop master knew right away that that got me into Ramona. So even in scenes where I wasn't smoking or doing anything, she just hand me the, the lighter. All of a sudden, it was a different person. Every single day, I carry around my um, my blingy cup that was given to me for my birthday a couple years ago. Now I, I make one for every single shoot I'm on. So I had my Hustlers uh, blingy cup. <laughs> it's just water in there. That's why I drink a cup of coffee in the morning and then you know, water all day long. Everybody's like, what do you have in that cup? You drink it all day long. <laughs> I don't know if they thought I had like alcohol in there. <laughs> just a little bit throughout the day, keep me going. No, 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 it's just water. 
That day, we shot only uh, the first few hours was the dance. It was actually the day that we had all the girls doing all of the locker room scenes. So we had Lizzo on the set, Cardi on the set, Constance on the set, Lily, Kiki, Trace, the whole cast. And it was so much fun. So luckily I was exhausted after doing the dance, but then I was like kind of energized because it was like being in school, like in high school and all the girls were in the locker room and we were just having a ball and it was Cardi and Lizzo's first day on the set. And so it was exciting. We started in the morning and we finished around, I would say three in the morning. It was a long shoot day. <laughs> Depending on where we were shooting at the end of the day, it, you know, it would take me 10 minutes to get home or an hour to get home, depending on how far outside the city we were shooting. Once I get home, honestly, I just wash off. When you're doing a movie, it pretty much consumes your life. That little world for that little amount of time, if you're lucky enough to be on the set every day and that's the job that you have, which I did in this movie, you just are in it. You're just in it. You get just a few hours to yourself to kind of rejuvenate and sleep and try to be your best again the next day. For me, probably sleep is the most important thing. That's the one thing I don't like get interrupted. If I have an early call, I'll be in bed early. You know, they give you about a 12 hour turnaround, but usually it's like more like 10. <laughs> or eight, and so you just have to be disciplined. I have to be disciplined about it. I come home and I just go to sleep. I don't gotta take no melatonin, <laughs> I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to read a book, I don't need a meditation app. I hit that pillow and I'm out, it's over. She's done for the day.